Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish, and uh, hey, Merry Fishmas again. Uh, it is Christmas uh, afternoon, I guess, just uh, right, right around noon, uh, and I am out here on the lake um, fishing. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, you know, similar to last year, um, you know, we did everything. You know, Christmas Eve, I've got older kids, so um, you know, they they go and do their thing on Christmas Day with their friends and, and their boyfriends and things like that. So. Um, I'm here on the lake. I'm giving the uh, the new trolling motor a spin. This is about the third time I've been out with it, but I've kind of got the hang of it now. Uh, I'm up here in the north part of the lake in an area that I usually fish with my kayak. Um, and this was a big motivation, actually, for me to get the trolling motor, to be able to come up into areas like this and not have to throw an anchor out. I can actually just use the spot lock or, um, or just manually move it or maybe even an autopilot if I want to do a little drift through here. Um, but I'm sitting in about eight feet of water. I've already put one fish in the boat. I, I couldn't even get everything set up and I forgot one of the attachments for my um, my camera. So I've actually got a little twist tie wrapped around it and it's hanging down. I hope it doesn't fall in the lake. Um, but here I am, like I said, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's probably approaching 60 degrees. So, you know, just, just cool enough that it's comfortable but not so cool that I've got to put big layers of jackets on and things like that. So. Uh, I'm going to fish up and down this, this bank right here, um, kind of maybe cruise up to the north and then try to do a drift around. Uh, the lake's actually up about a foot um, over the last, say, 18 months. They've been doing work on the dam, um, and I think they've, they've either completed it um, or they've at least completed the part that they needed the lake down for. I do think they're still working on the gates, but they've allowed it to come back up at least a foot, you know, just watching the, the lake level charts over the last couple months. Um, just the kind of the standard level has popped up. So that's nice. That adds another foot to a lot of these areas. Um, some of the area up north that I'm going to try to drift through, which I normally drift. If you've ever seen my, my kayak videos, I'll, I'll, when I get done, I'll drift back up, back to my launch point. And it's usually only about five feet deep, like in that little channel. I might get six, six and a half today, and I can use the, uh, the trolling motor to try to go through there. So again, I'm still kind of learning, uh, you know, in this eight foot of water here, It'll be interesting to see what kind of disturbance the, the motor uh, has on uh, any fish around it. I mean, all my lines are right here by it. I may have to think about maybe shifting them to the back, which is, is tougher because I've got the, the top up. And so my, my rod holders back there, it gets, I mean, I can do it, but it just, it's not quite as uh, convenient. So we're going to try this. I, if anything, I can maybe push them towards the back here a little bit. Uh, the fish I did catch was on this back rod here that's on my right. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully I can put a few fish in the boat um, and kind of start, I guess we'll call it the new fishing year off since I did this again. I did this last year on this day. Uh, I had a pretty good day. Um, and then hopefully, you know, the 12 months between now uh, and the same time next year will be a heck of a lot better than they were during 2020. So, uh, so let's see what we can put in the boat and uh, we'll see you. Maybe, just maybe, we got something worth getting on video here. Okay. He actually pulling some drag. Feels like a good fish. He's boiling out there. All right. That is just out off of that drop off. I'm sitting on about a three foot hump right here, and I've got lines cast all around it. Off to my back here is a little shallower, and off to this side, it's a little bit deeper. And this was a good takedown, and that's a big piece of bait and a big hook. So, oh yeah, yes. Oh, I haven't caught one of these in a while. Let's not jinx myself. that we got before I get too frisky with him. He saw the boat. 
is not happy. Get his head up here. Oh, I lost him! God damn it! came off right as I was trying to get him in the net and I swear I, I felt it come off but he was still there and I almost got the net under his face but I just missed him and that is that is heartbreaking that was one of the biggest blues I've had on the line maybe ever I mean he was enormous okay just got to do it again absolute gut wrencher I was trying to be so careful I never he never would get his face up here so I could see that hook set I mean if it was if the hook set was that poor I don't know what else I could have done maybe just if I could have just maybe been a little more expeditious with getting him in the net, you know. I was trying to be so careful not to knock him off, and I should have just maybe been, just got it in there. It's tough with, tough with one person, two hands, rod in one hand, net in the other, but, oh well. fish on, same rod, doesn't feel nearly as big, playing around with it for a long time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's the same, same situation with that hook set, that hook is just not getting in there. I may need to switch this hook out with something better. Ah, yeah, I mean, that is just, just barely hooked. All right, not bad. Certainly not the fish that I lost. All right, let's put him back. I'm gonna look at changing at this hook. I just, it's got to be burying better than that. Oh, not bad. All right, another decent fish. Now again, I'm gonna compare everything to that monster that I lost. Well, Those are good fish though. This is a good fish. Do another hook set evaluation. Like I said, this is a big hook. This is not, it's not only big as far as just the, the size of it, like the, the circle, but it's a thick hook. And so, this guy, is this a decent fish? Now, I'm not seeing that hook come out, and so I'm going to grab this net here. You know, I always like to see the point of that hook. Yeah, 
nasty, and that was, he wasn't hooked that good. I mean, I, see right there as he moved, the, the hook point, you know, came through, but it was not through. Now that's a pretty good fish. I mean, for me out here, that would be a good eating fish right there. My brother will kill me, but I'm throwing it back because I don't want to feel like cleaning fish. All right, so I've concentrated my lines this direction. So again, I'm sitting on this hump, about three feet of water, and I'm using my power poles. There's a bite right here. Using my power poles. Back this way is a pretty good drop off, and that's where I was getting most of these bites. So I've shifted all my rods now this way. I even added one more kind of off the back here going that way. I've just got this lone rod going out here open to the shallower water. I've only gotten one nibble on it so far. If I had another rod holder in the back, I would throw it out there. Um, but we'll go ahead and keep it up there. You never know what might be swimming up there. So I cannot believe my camera was off for that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that it was off for that. But it's on now. 33 inches, about 20 pounds. I don't know if my scale's right. Biggest blue I've ever caught. And my camera wasn't on. So y'all, I cannot believe my camera was off for that. Biggest blue cat I've ever caught out here. And I, obviously I'll never know this, but I feel confident that it was the same blue that I lost earlier. Um, I caught it on the lighter tackle, smaller hook. The hook was in there pretty good, but it was not in there great. I mean, his mouth was so huge. I mean, it was just sort of hooked kind of in his tongue a little bit. Um, but I worked the drag, worked the drag, worked the drag, worked the drag. Um, let him run when he wanted to run um, and managed to get him in the net and get him in the boat. And I have no idea when this camera decided to turn off. I'm just, I'm just another gut punch. Um, that fish just wasn't meant to be caught on camera, but uh, I, uh, I at least got some video there at the end. Got some on my phone as well. And uh, that's it. I, I, and I think, I think I'm going to call it on that. I'm going to get these lines reeled in. I got one that's hooked up. So I'm going to get that done, and then uh, I'm going home. So Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys. Oh, baby, too much.